got the summer on lock. Big three on Fox. Oh, yeah. It's about that time. Big three taking over the reasonable doubt podcast. Shout out to Mark Garrigo. Shout out to Adam Carolla. I'm hanging out with league owner of the big three. Yay, yay. The one and only Ice Cube. What is good, Cube? You know what's good, man. You know, it's playoff time coming. Yeah, man. So we excited. We ready to go. Okay, so we're taking over this uh, Reasonable Doubt podcast for a reason, and that reason is, of course, the Big Three playoff, the Big Three championship. Within the next two weeks, the Big Three is about to get bigger than ever. It's season two, yes. and uh, we're getting ready all the way live on Fox. Cube, let's let, for, for the listeners that are tuned in right now, that don't know what exactly the Big Three is, let's just let them know in, 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 a, in a quick description what is the Big Three. The big three is uh, professional three-on-three basketball uh, played at the highest level by uh, former NBA greats. Um, we have Hall of Fame coaches uh, played on half court. Uh, games go to 50 points. Halftime is at 25. We got a great league going on. This is year two. Eight teams are in our league, uh, and we're about to hit the playoffs, baby. And the playoffs go all the way live on Fox. Cube, just even hearing the, the big three record, like as we introed in, you're the league owner and you're also able to, you know, input so much into your your league and make it make it hit, man. Make it make it make it what what I feel like other sports are lacking. You know what I'm saying? Like the 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 hip of it, you know, what yes. I mean? the, the, the the swag of it, you know what yes. I'm saying? And um that's that's a, a pretty dope situation. I mean man. that that was a big part of, you know what we you know conceive. Uh, me, Jeff Kwan, uh, we really thought about, you know, how do we make it more entertaining than what people are used to, uh, and 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 really push that, uh, and letting the players be themselves is a big deal. You know what I mean? Letting the players letting their personalities shine through by not encouraging trash talking, but allowing trash right. talking. And it's a difference. You know, we let guys, uh, Cause it's know. like a little controlled in the NBA, man. It seems like these players have, have had to ha- have grown their, their men all grown up, retired, but in a new place and where they're, where they are able to capitalize and, and take advantage of being who they, who they really are, man. Their real personalities were able to shine. And that's what I've seen from the big three is that these players are able to shine through the big three, man, and actually let out who they really are, man. Without a doubt. Uh, you know, I think a lot of sports have gotten stale. Um, the players are very robotic because they feel like they can't, uh, express themselves. Uh, so, um, you know, it starts to erode some of the passion, and we can't have that. You know, we wanted we wanted games that and teams that were very passionate, dudes going at it. We want we didn't want guys just dialing it in and being able to, I guess, express yourself on the court is part of the passion you need to play this game with. Let's recap a, a little bit of a season two, man. We're going into week nine all the way live. American Airlines Center, Dallas, Texas, and it's going live on Fox. Um, it's the play. It's playoff time, man. You got Trilogy taking on uh, uh, Killer Threes. But here's the thing. We, we, we're we're going to still see more games on Friday all the way live. Yes. But the playoffs are, are, are it's four teams, Power, Tri-State, Threes Company, and uh, the, the Three-Headed Monsters. Very surprisingly, Ice Cube, the champions of the Big Three Season 1 trilogy, they didn't make the playoff. Did that surprise you? It was very surprising. You know, I thought they were, you know, a stacked team. I thought they um, really, by playing together last year, had the edge. Uh, what they do you was think, bringing what do you everybody think, back. What do you think it, 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 they didn't have this season? What what was it that was missing that, that this season that, Last season, it seemed like they were just they, – they were undefeated. They were, like, bullying over everyone, man. They were just running over every single team that got it in their face, man. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, they were in some tight games. It was a couple of games where they had to come from behind. You know, it wasn't a straight, you know, uh, basically wire-to-wire, you, know, um, you know, win for them every game. Some games they did have to come back, fight some adversity. Um I think this year they started off 
uh, for one, with a big bullseye on their back. Um, you know, Sean, I mean, Rashad McCants, when he walked into into the draft combine wearing a, a crown on his head, uh, that put the league on notice. For sure. That uh, it looked like some players didn't like that, man. Hey, man, some Honestly, players they weren't cool. You know, with they that. got a little, you know, a little edgy. Yeah, and um, they wasn't happy. And he wasn't backing down. He was like, uh, but "Do isn't something that about dope, it. Cube? Isn't Do that something kind of, about right. it." Right. You know, which is dope. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. It is. I mean, and so they started off on a bad note. You know, they they started off with with Al Harrington. He was injured the first game, so. You know, they never was really at full strength. And then the next game, I believe, Rashad McCants got hurt. Uh, and then in that same game, Kenyon Martin had got hurt. So it was, uh, you know, they started off, you know, kind of slipping out the gate and never recovered. Yo, um, also, too, man, a lot of new stars uh, to the Big Three. And it seems like a lot of the new stars that entered the Big Three, Nate Robinson, Amari Stoudemire, uh, Chris Anderson, the Birdman, um, uh, Coach Cooper, Baron Davis, uh, Andre Emmett, they're in the playoffs, man. They, you know, they're, yes. they're in teams that, that made these playoffs. Tri-State, you know, didn't even make the playoffs last year. And here they are, you know, with one of the best records uh, in the Big Three. Any 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 new player in the, in the Big Three that – stood out to you where, you know, you were like, wow, man, that that's hell of impressive that this dude came into the Big Three. And, and, and look, man, he's about to um, possibly win a, win the Big Three championship. Oh, man, um, I was very surprised with, uh, you know, Baron Davis just being able to come in and, and score. He hasn't played in, a, in, a, in about four weeks, though. So, you know, I'm not sure how that's going to play out for him. But I was surprised that he was just able to come in and automatically, you know, just be – uh, dominant, and um, you know, you look at Big Baby Davis. Uh, I think he's picked up his game. He's gotten really used to, uh, you know, the Big Three game. Uh, Birdman, I think he's having starting to have fun out there. Uh, so these guys, even Nate, you know, a uh, guy who's smaller in, sna- in stature, but who is, uh, you know, built for the three-on-three game. So um, it's pretty cool to see these. New faces come in, and um, and the ones that do the right thing have success. You know, when you do the right thing, you should have success. Uh, Cube, is it is it difficult being the league owner and being able to like make a prediction of of who you think is going to win the the Big Three championship this season, or is that something you just stay away from? Like, where you be, being the league owner, like it's 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 out of like, nah, I, I you know, you're just going to watch all the games and and hope for the for the best of any team. I mean, it's a little taboo. Uh, I don't, I don't root for any team. Um, you know, I just want a good game. You know, I want a hard nosed game. I want guys to, to uh, play with passion. I want guys to play to win the game, uh, and and to play hard for the fans. And you know, I want a good game. You know, to me, the best thing is you know, forty eight to forty eight. Somebody call a timeout, and we're trying to figure out what's about to happen. You know, it's like that to me is what I root for over this team, over that team. All right, man. So this Friday, it's all the way live on Fox. The Big Three playoffs is going down. Uh, Check out Nate Robinson. Check out Big Baby. Check out uh, Chris Anderson, the Birdman, Andre Emmett. I mean, these guys are balling. And David Hawkins, man. I mean, and it's so dope, man, because – you you got players that are, you know, battling it out for you know, scoring titles, rebound titles, yes, d- defensive uh, defense player of the year, steals. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, it, it's 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 all there, man, and it's all there for you all the way live on Fox. Also, too, what's really dope, Cube, is the Big Three app, man. For those that oh, yes. for those that are tuned in and want. All, I mean, you can get – literally, I'm looking at all this information right here in front of me on the Big 3 app. It's app. Whoever's running this Big 3 app is doing a fantastic job, man, honestly, man. I'm a big fan of the app. Digital Dog, which is Snoop Dogg's company, his company, Digital Dog, uh, helped put together this Big 3 app, and it's incredible. And, uh, you know, salute to Snoop for loaning us his team 
to uh, help us with this app. Yeah, and shout out, look at man, Ricky Davis won the scoring title. Hundred, he scored 137 points this season in the Big Three. Yes, and but he's not in the playoffs. See, that's the crazy thing, man. Is that there's still players that no matter if they're playoffs or not, they're competing at a man, high level. Man. Carlos Boozer had a great year. Yes. you know he had a, he had a lot of double doubles. So, and he's not in the playoffs. So, right, you know, guys come to win and come to play hard. And you know what, Cube, just really quick, man, on a side note, uh, for those that, that do tune into the Big Three and that are going to be in Dallas for the Big Three, uh, just know, man, like you never know who's going to pop up. We were in Atlanta, and it was like All-Star Weekend, man. Yes. We had 2 chains, Wale, The Brat, Jermaine Dupree, um, uh, DC Young Fly. I mean, the, uh, there's so many. Chris Webber, you know, I yeah. got an exclusive with Chris Webber. I got to sit down and talk to Chris Webber, and I asked him, Chris, can you see yourself in the Big Three? And he said, I see all my friends out there. I see my boys. Absolutely. Yes, oh, I man, can come see Come on with son. it. You know what I'm saying? So, Cube, I don't know if you know, knew that one, but I got to sit down with Chris Webber and ask him that. Um, is, is, is Big 3 expanding, uh, uh, getting bigger, growing? We're going to talk about that in, yes. in, in a bit. Let's get down with uh, uh, Katino Mobley. We're going to yes. have also Coach Cooper, who's in the – of course, Katino Mobley, who's in the playoffs, and Coach Cooper, his first season in the Big 3 coaching, and he's made the playoffs. Yes. And he's going to give us the inside of Baron Davis is going to be able to play on these – playoffs being there in the championship hopefully if they make the championship and uh it's all going down we are taking over the big three reasonable doubt shout out to mark garrigo shout out to adam corolla and shout out to the man ice cube yes the big three is taking over reasonable doubt we're coming back with Katino Mobley. The Big Three is back for season two, bigger and better than ever, with 40 of your favorite players, plus exciting new additions. Nate Robinson, Chris Birdman Anderson, Baron Davis, Amari Stoudemire, Carlos Boozer, Meta World Peace. Big Three playoffs, Friday, August 17th, American Airlines Center. Tickets are on sale now. All right, it's the Big Three taking over Reasonable Doubt with Garagos and Adam Carolla. I'm hanging out with league owner Ice Cube, and to my right, power is going down playoff ready the one the only katino mobley katino how you feeling man i feel good man i feel good get ready for these playoffs katino uh, uh had a, a, an amazing a season ninth in scoring 96 points man are uh, has everything been fun everything uh, uh been exciting a uh, season two you've played every single game man you're the only player in the big three that has played all every single game season one every single game season two are you ready for the playoffs this friday all the way live on fox you know what i'm super ready man um, last year we were banged up a lot. I heard y'all guys talking about trilogy, you know, and they they rubbed me wrong last year. You know they did, saying? they I love did. Them dudes, but they rubbed me wrong. <laughs> what know, what was had, the most? What was it that rubbed you wrong, Katino? Well, well, for me, I'm a competitor, right? And <clears throat> and uh, I love those guys, but it was just the point of like, you know, Corey Maggette went down last year in the first game, first half. You know, junkyard dog. I didn't have the whole season, and uh, I was just trying to will us last year to even you know finish third last year. So. You know, we wasn't full throttle as well. And there's a lot of teams, uh, Rashard Lewis, they missed Jason Williams. So it was a lot of teams that Trilogy kind of like snuck past, you know what I mean, even though they were good. So, you know, this year, like Cube was saying, you know, Rashard, who's my brother, I love him, he came with a crown on at draft day. And, you know, it, right there it was like, you know, his spit was coming out of our mouths waiting to play them. So, wow. <laughs> you know, it, it was like that kind of thing. You know, so it. it's all about, in, you know, we, we're competitive. And, you know, we're not the new millennium. We, we guys, like, we're ready to fight. Like, and, that's how we are. And how, how's it been <clears throat> with the addition of Chris Anderson, the Birdman, and, and of, co and of, of course, uh, uh, Coach Nancy Lieberman? I mean, what what ha what has she done to, to keep this team going and you you know win winning the games as successful as y'all y'all been doing this season two of the big three man well she's super positive right and she her iq is super high so her and i get along you know very well when it comes to play calling or defensive schemes or whatever it is and Corey mcgetty the mvp to me um <clears throat> you know he he's just he's being Corey, right he's being Corey, and um it helps me out so much where i don't have to take so much you know, load on, on my body like I did last year. So, you know, uh, Chris Anderson, I mean, I can't say enough. Like, he comes in and he just does exactly what he's supposed to do, right? He blocks shots, rebounds. He's full of energy, big baby, Q Rich. You know, we even have our guys like Xavier uh, Salas and, 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 and Ryan Gomes that just literally helps in text during the week. And, you know, Nancy's just, she's a Hall of Famer, man. She knows basketball. Is, she played until she was 50. Is it is it irritating to keep hearing the same question about uh, her gender, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Is it like, is it starting to get on your nerves? Like, 
I don't it's even no see big that, deal, guys. Right, yeah, I don't even see yeah, that, man. I just yeah. see it as you know, it's it, it's she's an, an addition, a new addition to the big. That's three. why I'm asking, but, is but, it getting on his nerve? Every, every, Cuba's right. Every <laughs> single after every single game, people are like surprised that she's coaching men. Right, yes. right. right. Like women raised us. <laughs> right. Exactly. What are we doing? Right. She played till she was fifty. So she knows dedication, right? You have to you have to be really dedicated. After a certain amount of, listen, when you get in your thirties, you have to be really dedicated with your body to be able to keep yeah. playing, running up and down. I don't care if you're playing basketball, whatever you're doing, kicking soccer, you know, football, whatever it is, your body has to be in shape. And she's done it. And, you know, when people say that, it's just like, you know, I don't know if they're small minded or, or not, but I mean you know, it's the way of the world, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, they don't know what to ask. Right. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like they don't know what to ask. You know what I mean? How do you, uh, <laughs> how do you rate her as a communicator? Oh, she's I mean, the, as a coach. She's up there at the top. She's definitely up there at the top. She, I mean, she'll call you during the week. She'll ask you, you know, what, what did you see? You know, what plays do you like? You know, uh, did I skip something? Like, she's not afraid. She doesn't micromanage. Yes. She's not afraid to say, I didn't know it. What did you see? Right. And when you're like that and, and you're with other veterans out there, you know, I mean, you're selfless. You're like, listen, I, I just, I just want to be the best I can be. So if you can help me do that, cool. Let's do it. That's how she is. Yo, uh, Katino, not only are you uh, top 10 in points, also assists, steals, and blocks. Uh, you got a big matchup against you guys. Uh, you guys are taking on uh, David Hawkins, Amari Stoudemire, Nate Robinson, mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and and Tri State, of mm-hmm. course, coached by Dr. J, the living legend Julius yeah, Irving. Uh, are, you, are you worried? I mean, they 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 beat you guys week three. Um, they're the only pe- they're the only team that give you guys your, your loss. Uh, are you guys? Is that in the back of your mind at all, or or are you just wanting revenge? You know what, Creep? I, I, I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm never worried about a team, and how we played them. We had them down. We had them down nine, and I didn't play well. Uh, actually, it's not that I didn't play well. Corey McGetty had an amazing uh, game, and um, we only had four guys. Okay, we only had four guys because uh, one of our guys got hurt. So we played the bulk of the minutes, and they were kept rotating. And they beat us. If you look at it, they beat us with a step back three. Right where you were sitting at. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, listen, they're a good team, and uh, we're going to come out, and, um, you, you, you know, it, it won't be no soft. It w- won't be soft next time. You know, uh, baby, myself, you know, we just didn't play as well, and Corey was the one that was holding us down. Uh, Cube, is it wrong for me to say, I mean, t- t- I have a prediction for the Big Three Championship, and <clears throat> I mean honestly, man, I I, I I think all these all the teams are great in the Big Three. All these teams are playing really hard to get to these playoffs. But I've said it, you know, a few games ago. There's something about power, man, that is 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 so smooth, man. The way y'all been, you, the way you guys have been playing. I mean, I'm just to sit there and watch you guys. It's 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 um. It's it's amazing for me to just see you know how smooth you guys and the rhythm that you guys it. And, and it just built Pre- game after game appreciate after it. game and I know Lan- Nancy Lieberman has a lot to do with that. Mm-hmm. It seems like she mm-hmm. gets in your and and you guys are just able to get in your groove like you yeah. know she she yeah. talks to you guys you guys run uh, and you guys run a, a hell of a great game man so I'm uh, I'm putting Thank my you. money on Power Cube. Hey, you know you're a fan and you can see I'm with your own eyes. Fan. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm definitely they, a fan. You got, I mean, Power is a great team. They're the number one seed for a reason. Uh, and it's going to be a great matchup because uh, Tri-State, you know, has a star-studded team, mm-hmm. too. Um, and so I, I just can't wait to see this matchup on Friday. Absolutely, yeah. man. Uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you like about Tri-State? What do you like about their team? What do they do well? Well, I think they utilize Nate pretty well, right, in the pick and rolls. Um, and and it helps him out because it's three on three, right? So it's more of an open court for him, um, and um, they they can rest because they have Amari and they have Jermaine O'Neal in the post, mm-hmm. so their guards can rest them. Um, you know, I think their 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 star is uh uh their their uh, uh, is uh, uh, Hawkins. You know, yeah, you know, David Hawkins. You, know, you got to yes. make him take tough shots and make him play a little bit, and uh, you know you have a better chance of defeating them uh, because then you know Nate will try his best to overtake the game once once he sees that and you know it kind of falls into your own hands because he's uh you know he plays with passion and emotion why uh, did why did, sorry go ahead Q. Q. no no it's all why, right bro. why do you think they're five and three and we're gonna get we gotta get cooper in here why do you think they're like five and three why do you think they've dropped three games with a roster that great well i think we, like i said before right it, it, 
and and I'm the you know Corey Maggette is my brother, but I, I think I'm the more mental leader on the team. And if you know the guy who's who's handling the ball the majority of the time or calling the plays has to be mentally tough. And I think sometimes they you know they just get a little childish with their with their emotions opposed mm-hmm. to like stay in the course of a game mm-hmm. you know you can cuss out a little bit you can do this whatever but you got to click back into the game because basketball is so it's 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 uh you know you have to have amnesia you got to be quick you yes. forget it and let's go forget it and let's go right and yes. what they do is they dwell on the last play yeah and it would it accumulates right before you know it, you're not down four, you're down seven. Right. Yes. Right? And it's not a this not a, a full basketball game. This is three on three. So twenty five, fifty, game over. Done. That's right. You know? And uh, once they understand that to be a little more mentally tough, I think that's where it'll help them out even more. Uh not looking past Tri State whatsoever, uh, but being that you guys do get past Tri State, we go to week ten, we go to Brooklyn, New York, all the way live on Fox for the Big Three World Championship. Are you uh, looking more forward to playing at Three's Company or the Three Headed Monsters? I, I'm just looking for Tri State right now. Nice. Like I really don't care about everybody else. Like Tri State is who I want, right? Um, and I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming for them. Yo, Katino, what could you say to to the listeners right now tuned in? Uh, you know, that's been the most pleasurable part of playing for Ice Cube's Big Three this season I just love the camaraderie like we're a family right it's black excellence right Cube started something that's like I seriously I just I'm laying in my bed every night like wow I can't believe he thought of this right like it's just an amazing situation that's going on for all of us and you know the way Cube accommodates us the w- the way the league is run right the way what what guys like literally guys are really trying their hardest they're dedicating their bodies every single week and it's not just for the pride of like the fans, but it's like literally like Cuba's our brother. So we respect him. So we got to respect ourselves so we can go out there and, and you got to put a good product on the floor. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what it is. It's that brotherhood and I'm just happy to be involved. Cube, man, how, what do you think about that when you hear a, 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 one of the players of the Big Three saying that? <clears throat> um, I feel good because I feel like I'm doing my job for them. You know, it's, it's setting the stage and making it a um, uh, uh, a great environment to come play basketball and come, you know, extend your brand in a lot of ways. And um, and so, you know, taking ownership of the league, you know, they, Ice Cube's big three, it's the big three. You know, the league exists because of the players, because of the coaches. And, you know, I'm just a guy who, who knows how to set the stage up. So, you know, that's what I want to see. I want to see the players and the coaches take ownership of this league like it's theirs and not mine. And that's that's when I'll be, you know, extremely happy. There it is, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is the big three taking over Reasonable Doubt, uh, hanging out with uh, t- uh, Power uh, uh, Team uh, ca- co-captain Katino Mobley. Katino, let the fans know right now why this Friday, all the way live on Fox, it's playoff time, season two of the big three, why everybody must be tuned in watching Power taking on Tri-State, man. Well, listen, man, you, it's, it's, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be entertaining. Uh, and guys are going to be very competitive when it comes to this, this game. So uh, this is the playoffs, and you know, I'm pretty sure guys are working out this week to get ready for Friday. And um, you know, they're going to see some really good basketball. There it is, man. Uh, the legendary Catino Mobley Power. Check them out this Friday, all the way live on Fox. Tri-State takes on Power. Uh, game three, all the way live, ladies and gentlemen. We're taking over the Reasonable Doubt, Garagos, and Adam Carolla. This is The Big Three. The Big Three is coming to Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Fun and excitement for the entire family. Who will take home the Julius Irving Championship trophy? Find out Friday, August 24th, live on Fox, 8 p.m. Eastern. Tickets are on sale now. Big Three, we're changing the game. And it's going down. The Big Three taking over Reasonable Doubt. Shout out to Mark Garagos, Adam Carolla. I'm hanging out with league owner of the Big Three, of course, needing no introduction, Ice Cube. And to my right, this man must have an introduction. He's a five-time NBA world champion with the Showtime Lakers, 1987 Defensive Player of the Year, and the only person to win a title in the NBA, WNBA, and the D-League. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Mr. Showtime, Michael Cooper! Here in the house with my socks still high. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. Cool, man. I mean, just giving you that introduction, man, what does that make you feel like, man? NBA world champion, WNBA world champion, D-League world champion, big three world champion? 
Oh, for sure. I'm going to say that right now. That's something that we're going to accomplish. Obviously, there's some teams that we have to beat and get over. We've got to get by a three-headed monster this, this upcoming Friday. But championships is what it's about. And that was taught to us back in when we were playing with the Lakers with Pat Riley in the 80s. And when we lost in 1984, he said, listen, you got to commit yourself to the game fully. And we did that and came back in 85. So winning championships is something I know. And, again, one of the lux luxuries and the pleasures I have as a coach is trying to pass that on to players. And our players at Three's Company so far have kind of of grab hold of it and understand it and we're gonna make a run for it well well it's a definite hell of a welcome for your first season in the big three <laughs> to be right here in title contention you know pay, uh, playoffs on fox i mean it, yeah. it, it, it's got to be a great feeling a uh, cool well, first of all, it's a great feeling, only for the fact that Cube made this possible for me. I was sitting at home, and all of a sudden things came about, and I got a call from him and Clyde, and he was like, Coop, you want to be part of this? And sure, I jumped in. Head, head yeah, in like, likewise, I'm bro. I was, I was at home biting my nails, like, when am I going to get, get this gig already, man? When am I going to start now? <laughs> now, we, we, you know, uh, I've always admired you as a coach. You know, I've, I've watched you communicate, and, uh, you know, I saw you win two championships with the Sparks, and... um and, you know, I always knew that you was a great communicator. We've seen each other in passing here and there. And uh, I've always, in the back of my mind, said if a job pops open, uh, Cooper is a great candidate. For once, I want to get a Laker, you know, down with the big three. Yeah, man. For, you know, because uh, I'm a big-time Showtime Laker fan. And um, I remember one time going to a game at the Forum and um, – I don't know if you remember across the street from the form, it was like a little like uh stop and go kind of yep, liquor store, yep. you know, <laughs> right on the corner. And uh I guess he was a ball boy or one of your guys came in. He had on he had some white Nikes <laughs> with a purple purple swoop on it. And it had coop on the back. And he was this close about, he was this close from getting beat out them uh, <laughs> out, them, out them shoes. We was like, yo, man, them are Cooper shoes he have. Uh but but we felt like nah Coop's late. That's this man, he, he oh needed God. shoes. We ain't gonna beat the man for his shoes. But we was this close. I always remember that. I always remember coming, you know, we, we got into uh the biggest game I was able to get into was Lakers played the Celtics, regular season game. You know, and whenever the Lakers played the Celtics, you, in the back of your mind, you worried like, yo, these dudes are actually good. You know, I mean, these dudes, if we don't play right, can actually beat the Lakers, even though the Lakers are amazing. And you shut Larry Bird down that game. I mean, he couldn't so get dope, nothing. And I was like, Cooper, man, he got that lockdown defense. Look. Thank you, Q. First of all, I'd like to say that being a good defensive player starts uh, with the fundamentals of the game, going back to high school and whoever taught you that way. But I've always said this about myself being a good defensive player. I couldn't have been a great defensive player without a very good basketball team behind me. Because there was many times where Larry would get by me, but Worthy would be there, Magic would be there, and allow me to get back into the play. So uh, our team was committed to winning, and it was a, committed to supporting everybody on the team. But, uh, Cube, that's a long story, because that, that liquor store, I think it's still there. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's still there. But that's way, way back. You tested my memory now as an old person. <laughs> that, that's great, man. Um, cool. But what can you say, you know, is the difference in coaching from, you know, NBA, WNBA, D-League, and now here at the Big Three? Like, what, what, what's something that you can say, like, man, I, this is something that, that's a different experience from the Big Three? Well, it's only one end of the court you have to work with. And you don't have to run the 94 feet to the other end, so you don't really have to combine your game as far as coaching offense and defense and kind of intermingle. It's all already intermingled. And the one thing I love about it is that, is that it's right in front of us. I think our players, especially the players that I've been coaching, are want want to win. And there's a when you want to win, you're listening to your coach. And again, I do as as Q say, give our players a little bit more freedom to say what's going on on the court. Uh, Barron the last two games haven't played, but he's been there being supportive and <laughs> actually been more coaching than I have been up. But uh, there, there is a concept that goes into this. It's not just one-on-one -on -one basketball. And I think the teams that are in the playoffs, uh, the three-headed monsters, uh, Tri-State State and uh, ourself, uh, they have to work as a team. And I think that's the biggest part is I've been able to get our, our five guys, six guys to work as a team, even though there's three players out there at one time.
uh, for the the Baron Davis fans that are tuned in right now, because there's a, a, a lot of them out there that are wondering, including myself, man, is is Baron playing in the playoffs? Can't give up our secret. That oh, dude. Oh, can't oh, give it up. I'm holding oh, oh, my oh, cards close. Right. Right. I'll right. tell you this. Uh, Damn, it, that was it, a thun, thun, thun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, I'll tell you this, though. Uh, Baron is itching to get out there, and if everything goes well the next couple of days, uh, he will be in Dallas with us. But uh, you know what? Keep that a mystery. People got to come out and see. It'll I, be the, I noticed. I noticed that uh, when you first first week or two, you were kind of you were kind of staying back and kind of gauging what the team was and what they needed and what they really needed from you. And then as the weeks went on, three, four, you started to let them know that hey, you know the honeymoon's over. Now it's time to be coached and. Uh, how did how did you make the decision to to actually you know take the reins uh you know more than just a new guy kind of figuring it out because the structure of the big three is a little different mm -hmm. player captains have a lot of power and control uh over who they play with coaches have a lot of control over who hits the floor when and so uh it's it's a dance it's a you know, you have to work it out to, to really be able to be effective. And uh, so how were you able to make that transition to become from, you know, being a guy that was that felt kind of like a fill-in to a guy who was like, this is my team, and, you know, I want to coach this team to a championship? Well, Q, first of all, I'll start with you because I came and, you know, when we first talked, I asked you how to go about it. He said, you know, gave me some instructions, just let the players be themselves. And then Clyde was very interest, instrumental on me understanding the league. Uh, DeMar Johnson was the biggest key for us as far as uh, showing me how it goes. And I think as I sat back and watched a little bit and started noticing where I can make an imprint on the team when the team gets in five fouls instead of us shooting jumpers, now it's time to take, to take it to the basket. You get the score and you get the ball back. So those little circumstances like that really have uh, set in on me. And now when I step forward and I say a couple of things to the players and maybe something works, then they look at, uh, look a little bit more toward me as far as, okay, coach, what's next? So it's been a slow process, but it's one that I've, I'm slowly but surely getting my hands around. And uh, Cube, as you said, it's not necessarily my team. It's our team. And right. I think we see it like that. And uh, we're able to make those adjustments. Barron drew up a great play the last game when we played, and we actually scored so they felt like they have a responsibility to that and then my job is just to stay on the officials and hopefully make the right substitutions it's like anything man yep. like i guess building trust uh, uh with each other mm -hmm. and and it'll all come together you know uh this friday it is game four all the way live on fox uh playoffs season two of the big three you guys are taking on the, the three-headed monsters and uh let's go back to uh um the game where you guys did have play. To? Do we have to we go guys, back? Well, it, it, it's just good information, man. You guys yeah. went back and you guys played. And you guys were up uh, seventy, uh, forty-seven to forty-six until a Jamario Moon hit that four-point shot, Oof. and that's uh, you know one of the the major major factors of the big three is that there is a four-point shot, man, and you can win a game on a. You could be down four points, hit a four-pointer, and that's it, man. It's and, it's a wrap. And, and, and tattoo, that's what I was telling them. Uh, I was telling Andre to get up on him because Jamario had the basketball. And, again, it was a shot right in front of the cube that he hits the shot. And, I mean, you can never take any possession for granted here. You got to get up. Even if it's a non-shooter, anything can happen. Although it was a bank shot and you got to call those in my three-on-three -three days, <laughs> uh, it went in. But those are the type of games that we're having. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad that we get this opportunity to see them again. Yeah, you know, it was a great game back and forth. Uh Felt like a powerhouse uh, heavyweight fight, um, and you know it was a game that you want to see. You want to see a game that goes down to you know both teams had point game, right? At a, and uh, actually, Three's company had the lead, so uh, you know it's exciting basketball. You can't like like uh, Coop said, you can't take a possession off uh, because you never know. Uh, you know those four pointers are momentum changers. And they're very deadly. You know, whether you're behind or ahead, they definitely change the the the. T uh, I I would say the momentum of the game. Absolutely, oh, yeah, even yeah. even the way the crowd reacts. I mean, the yeah. crowd reacts. They they go wild over a four point shot. Yeah. Um, cube. But at some point, you got to go in and t tell yourself that's what the four point circle was invented for. I mean, you know, a, a team can just be right back doubt. on top. 
you know, we knew with this, with the big three, uh, we wasn't sure, you know, if we was going to have a lot of dunks and a lot of high flying things that get the crowd excited. So we wanted to have a unique part of our game that could get the crowd excited. Uh, we picked circles for a reason. You know, our arc would be, it would be too many attempts and it would be guys would get tired, step out of bounds and just arc it up, you know. So we felt like a circle is defendable, you know. You see a guy trying to make it over to that circle, it gives the defender uh, enough time to try to defend the shot. And, and it's worked out well because there are not a lot of them. You know, there's just enough to – to keep the game interesting. Coop, I get excited when we hit a four-point shot. I love that shot there. Uh, oh, yeah, Coop, uh, Coop, man, before we let you go, uh, keys to victory uh, um, going in Dallas playoffs this Friday all the way live on Fox. Obviously, you have to score. I think that's going to be a big key. But there's two things that are missing. I think the teams that don't do well in the big three is that, one, you got to play some defense. You, their uh, shot attempts are different here. As in the NBA, if you shoot a shot and it's the air ball, it doesn't hit the rim or they take it out or something, those are layups for other teams. So my thing for our team is that anytime you shoot a shot, and I don't care what kind of shot, you got to hit the rim. That way they got to clear it back. The third thing, is, and the most important one to me, is rebounding. And I think that's a lost start because everybody's just jacking the ball up. But the teams that are successful, and again, that's one thing about the three-headed monster. Reggie Evans is a very good rebounder, and we got to rebound the basketball to get second shots and to keep them on to, for uh, one attempt. Cube, are you surprised that the three-headed monsters went as far as they did without uh, Richard Lewis this season? With his injury, of course, like he got yes. injured early in the season, and here they are, right back in in the playoffs, a possible you know championship, and going up against Michael Cooper's Three's company. Oh yeah, you know I, I knew that they would be very hungry on how they lost last year. You know he was ahead in the championship game and let trilogy come from behind to win. So I knew they were hungry. I knew they played hard, but when Rashard Rashard uh, went down, I felt like you know. He was the MVP of the league last year. He almost, uh, you know, um, I think scored like 170 points, <laughs> you know, as our scoring leader. Yeah. Uh, so I felt like, you know, how can you replace that? And first game, uh, Jamario Moon comes out and, and scores 24 points. And I think it gave them a boost, a mental boost of next man up, you know, we still going to do it. Um, so um, I'm surprised that they are 7-1. and one. You know, I thought they would drop a, another game or two. But I'm not surprised that they're in the Final Four. And um, it's going to be a hell of a game. It is, uh, man. Between, <laughs> Tattoo, can I add coming? something to that, too? Sure, and I think, please I mean, do. I mean, Q cool. hit that right on the head. But one thing that team, three-headed monsters, don't – well, two things they do. One is they don't beat themselves. They yes. get out there and they play hard. And then the second and most important thing, and that's the coach's job – Gary Payton gets after them guys. He keeps yes. them motivated. He keeps them fired up. He doesn't let them take possessions off. And that's why they're where they are now, the best team in the league. So there's a lot of respect. Yeah. Uh, there's definitely a lot of respect, man. Uh, you got to love it. You guys, make sure you are tuned in all the way live on Fox. It is going down. Season two of the Big Three playoffs are here. Coach Coop's Three's company takes on Gary Payton's three-headed monster. And you must watch it all the way live on Fox. Coach Coop, thank mm -hmm. you so much for being a part Always of a uh, the Big Three cool. takeover. Please Reasonable doubt. Uh, we're coming back uh, with uh, a wrap up here with uh, your boy Tattoo and Ice Cube. This is the Big Three Takeover. The Big Three is back for season two, bigger and better than ever, with 40 of your favorite players, plus exciting new additions Nate Robinson, Chris Birdman Anderson, Varen Davis, Amari Stoudemire, Carlos Boozer, Meta World Peace. Big Three playoffs, Friday, August 17th, American Airlines Center. Tickets are on sale now. And it's the Big Three takeover. Uh, reasonable doubt, of course. Mark Aragos and Adam Carolla. We're, we're taking over, man. They gave us the keys. Ice, well, they gave Ice Cube the keys, man. I'm just here uh, holding it down, man. But uh, Ice Cube, Big Three uh, playoffs are going down this Friday all the way live on Fox. Make sure yes. that you get your tickets at Big3.com. That's once yes. again Big3.com. Get your tickets. Uh, mention uh, hashtag Big Three playoffs. Download the Big Three app. I promise you, man, you will have so much fun on this Big Three app from the stats, the stand to the league scores, rebound. Everything is here, man. Highlights, videos. You got to love it. And uh, Ice Cube Ice Cube uh, has a big three music coming. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know, we always, you know, putting something together. Uh, we were putting together the big three mixtape. Uh, we got some artists that's dope. We're going to put that together with Interscope. 
So that's pretty cool. Um, and man, you know, the big three is all about entertainment. Got my man Baby Bash in the house. Yes, sir, hey, man. Hey. Who's, uh, who uh, laced us in Houston and really, um, you know, set the tone for, for the big three and set us off right. Baby Bash, man, you were there. You wow. performed. You were in, yes. in the middle of the court. You saw, you man, I seen you out there hooping up and, and oh, you were man. taking Everything. pictures with legends like Dr. J, man. What was the environment it, like, it's, it's, you know, getting getting in front of the, all those fans, man? Well, being a part of, just being a part of the big three, which is a great idea. I mean, it, for me as a sports fan and a music fan, it's a big integration and uh, it's top-notch level basketball. Cause I'm a, I played college basketball before, so I'm a real hooper. So uh, to be around that alone was was one thing, and then to be able to perform at halftime and watch people sing along with it, and just being the kickoff of, of, of the next season. And it's a great energy. It's a great event. It's, it's more than just a sporting game. It's an event to bring family, children. And it's it's so cool to see top notch competitive basketball playing, and I'm so proud of uh, uh, Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, man. Yes, you know what I'm saying the oldest Thanks, player man. in the league, balling. 49. And, and you you put me up on game with Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, man. Like I'm I mean, you, I, I, they, they, I mean, LSU. Bash was putting me up on game, and you know this this man spent nine years in in the NBA, and Bash was telling me like, yo, man, like that don't seem right, night. But he was like, he's the first Colin Kaepernick, man. He got he's black the, you know what I mean? yeah, like, without a doubt. You know, Without a doubt, and I, the, it's just it's just dope to learn. Like you know, you see these players, you don't know where they went. Cube, this was something that. It, are you planning on adding like more to the big three? Like you know, what I mean, where the players went in the years before they got to because the, there's got to be line a story type. where they left off in the NBA, where they went, and now they're here at the, in the big three. Man, I mean, it's, yeah, definitely. You know, we really tried to this year expand our shoulder programming. Shoulder programming is like those specials, the, you know, inside the big three and yeah, all these yeah, things yeah, yeah. that get you hyped up. We couldn't get it done this year with Fox, but we, we plan on getting it done next year where we have shows during the week where we can highlight our players. We can highlight uh, matchups that's coming up. We can go over a uh, recap, you know, last week's matchup. So we are working on shoulder programming. We're working on expanding the league. You know, coming with 12 teams instead of eight, uh, possibly playing on two nights a week instead wow, of man. one, uh, three games a night. Uh, so we are uh, thinking about expanding the league. And Q, you know, another thing is like the I think the fans that are watching on Fox, the fans that are paying when they get into these arenas, they don't really know what's what's to come as well as far as the entertainment factor. We've had E40, Too Short. Yes. Uh, uh, we've had so like when like I said, when, I mean, so many celebrities come out to the big three, man, from NBA players to to you know other football NFL stars to yes. entertainers, singers. It seems like one it, one dude said it was like it's like a boxing event. You know what I mean? You got event. all these exactly. different you know different uh, walks of flavor walking in, right. checking out the game. And the game has its own flavor. So, and I just um, think a lot of the fans don't know that this is going on at, at halftime of, of the Big Three. You know, we're over here getting performances by multi platinum selling artists. Man. I mean, you know, we wanted to come to town and we saw this as like a mini all star game uh, where we would come to town, uh, get, the t get the city excited. Uh, we're doing things in the community like uh, the Ricky, uh, uh, Legacy, Ricky Davis Legacy yeah, man. Foundation. It's feeding the homeless. We got a junkyard dog with the young three. We have entertainers like Baby Bash coming hey. through. Not only watching the game, but sometimes they'll grab the mic and uh, and do a song yeah, or two. Man. And 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 that's what we want to create that kind of festive event because you never know when we come into your city. You never know when we're gonna be back. So when, when the big three is in your town. Come check us out. And, and basketball is in a, a, a shirt and tie sport, man. It, it, it's hip, man. It's yes. swag, dog. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, on top of the event, the, the, as far as the, the, the celebrityism and the just the vibe with the kids and the families and real, the games are so competitive. I'm telling you, dog, I'll be into them games. Like, uh, that was the way they – whoever invented the scoring and how it should score, like up to 50, 25 halftime – it's, it's genius, just, it's man. Genius because it's so competitive. Like, and la it seems funny because the year the team that won it last year didn't even make the playoffs this year. Yeah, that's how competitive. So there ain't going to be no monopoly. There's, there's never. They're nah. going to reboot every year, right? Every reboot. year you got to, you know, that team is going to have to redraft. They're going to have to send wow. their draft players back to the pool, right? Redraft and try to beat the new champions of this year. And is, for the is there an age limit? 
You got to be over 30. Okay. And and for the new Big 3 fans, there is a Big 3 championship trophy. There is Big 3 championship rings. There is a Big 3 championship all-star. I mean, you know what I mean? There is an MVP. I mean, this is this is legit as it gets. Ice Cube, before we get on out of here, Big 3 video game possible? Oh, man, that's that's a dream. We are working on it. We're talking to a few video companies, uh, you know, the top ones, you know, like 2K. Uh, EA Sports and things like that, and hopefully we can uh, figure it out. You More know, big right teams. now, right now, individuals are starting to just put our sleeves on on the 2K game. Yeah. So uh, there's a hunger for it. I think the game will be amazing. You can grab, you know, not only big three players but players from any era of basketball and put them together. You know, I think stuff like that would make this game amazing. It would remind me of remember that the the game that was two on two uh, with a big hit. Uh, yeah, what yeah. was it? Jam session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This would be tight like NBA that. Yeah, to be tight like that. I know Big Three fans want to know this from the league owner uh, Ice Cube man. Potential uh, players coming to Big Three. Oh well, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> let's man. let's just talk about the players there we it got. Is. There it and, is, man. Uh, and you know, all through the all through you know the off season, you'll hear about anybody we sign. You know, you'll get it first, definitely on the Big Three app. I love sure. it, man. I, I had it, like I said, man, I did have a chance to talk to Chris Weber, man, and he said, man, I see myself playing in this league right here, Big Three. You guys, it's week time. Spilling the beans. All the way live, ladies and gentlemen. It's going down American Airlines Center, Dallas, Texas. Uh, you can watch us live on Fox. You can download the Big Three app. You can follow us on social media at the Big Three. That's our Instagram, that's our Twitter, that's our Snapchat. League owner Ice Cube, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Baby Bash, Katino Mobley, uh, uh, Coach Cooper, Michael Cooper. Make sure you are watching the playoffs all the way live on Fox. Uh, this is the Big Three Takeover uh, right here on Reasonable Doubt Radio. Garagos and Corolla, Cube, Bash, your boy Tattoo. Thank you so very much. We'll see you this Friday at the playoffs. Yay. This is Big Three. Yeah, yeah.